Hello students. Let's start our class. Today we are going to discuss about the Russian Revolution. In the October Revolution of 1917, Socialists took over the government in Russia. The fall of monarchy in February 1917 and the events of October were termed as the Russian Revolution. The Russian Empire in 1914. In 1914, Russia was ruled by the Nicholas II and its empire. The Russian Empire included current Finland, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, parts of Poland, Ukraine, Belarus, stressing to the Pacific and comprise today's Central Asian states as well as Georgia, Armenia and Azerbaijan. Majority of the population was Russian Orthodox Christianity. Dear students, we are going to discuss about Russian farmers. At the beginning of the 20th century, Russian population was dominated by agriculturalists who used to cultivate for the market as well as for their own niche. About 85% of the Russian Empire population earned their living from agriculture. This population were higher than in most of the European countries. For instance, in France and Germany, the population was between 40% and 50%. Russia was a major exporter of grain. Industry and working class, St. Petersburg and Moscow were prominent industrial areas. Craftsmen undertook much of the production but large factories existed alongside craft workshops. In the 1890s, more factories were set up after and foreign investment in industry increased. Large factories were supervised by the government to ensure minimum wages and limited hours of work. Workers were a divided social group. They were also divided by their skill. Despite divisions, workers united to stop work when they disagreed with employers about dismissal of work conditions. The strikes took place frequently in the textile industry during 1896 to 1897 and in the metal industry during 1902. Dear students, now we are going to discuss about conditions of peasants of the countryside. In the countryside, peasants cultivated most of the land, but the nobility, crown and the orthodox church owned large properties. Like workers, peasants were to divide it. They were also deeply religious, but in a few cases they had no respect for nobility. Nobles got their power and position through their service to the Tsar, not through local popularity. This was unlike France, where during the French Revolution in Brittany, peasants respected nobles and fought for them. In Russia, peasants wanted the land of the nobles to be given to them. Frequently, they refused to pay rent and even murdered landlords. In 1902, this occurred in a large scale in South Russia. And in 1905, such incidents took place all over Russia. Russian prisons were different from 
other European peasants in another way. They pulled their land periodically, and their community divided it according to the niche of the individual families. Dear students, now we have to remember some of the important points that we have already discussed. In the October Revolution of 1917, socialists took over the government in Russia. The fall of monarchy in February 1917 and the events of October were termed as the Russian Revolution. In 1914, Russia was ruled by Tsar Nicholas II and its empire. Majority of the population was Russian Orthodox Christianity. At the beginning of the 20th century, Russian population was dominated by agriculturalists who used to cultivate for the market as well as for their own needs. St. Petersburg and Moscow were prominent industrial areas. In Russia, peasants wanted the land of the nobles to be given to them. Frequently, they refused to pay rent and even murder landlords. In 1902, this occurred in a large scale in South Russia and in 1905, such incidents took place all over Russia. Russian peasants were different from other European peasants in another way. Thank you, students. Have a great day.